my happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm really excited um uh, because i'm going to be showing you all the new madame glam house of nourish collection um this collection just came out and it's absolutely gorgeous you all so this is the packaging and how it came um and these are the colors that i got you guys i'm too excited for this collection so let me go ahead and get everything unboxed We'll get to doing some swatching, okay? So the one thing that I thought was pretty cool about this collection is that this, um, these colors here, they have white and black specks, and I think they're supposed to mimic like granite marble top or something, granite countertops and things like that. Um, I'm excited to try to do a marble design with it. Well, so the first color that I got here is New Quest. Ooh, this is really pretty. This is a really nice, it's kind of like a pastel mint color. So, so gorgeous. Wow. So creamy. Next color we have here is Aurora. Ooh, look at this. So yeah, that's what I really thought that's pretty cool about this collection is that, like I said, they have white specks, they have black specks, and they have little foil flakes in it. Like, how beautiful is this? And this uh, Aurora color, it actually looks very similar to New Quest, but just with all the fun things added in. So that's Aurora. Next we have Glimpse of Light. Ooh, and Glimpse of Light is also really pretty. So same uh, specs that's in there. They got white specs, black specs, and then they have those gold foil flakes. But this one's with a milky white base. So that's really beautiful. Next we have Set in Stone. Ooh, wow, this is pretty too. So this one here is like the same specs, the black and white with the gold flakes, but this one here is like a kind of like a really, really light olive green base. That's really pretty. And then last but not least, we have Shining Star, which is the deepest of all the colors. Ooh, this is very, very pretty. So this one here is the deepest of all of those colors. And yeah, I just wanted to make sure I had that full line of all of them because they're just absolutely beautiful. Um, so let me go ahead and get these colors swatched out. The first color here is New Quest. Just so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, these colors are gorgeous. You'll definitely need two coats for fuller coverage, but that's really, really pretty. And I love that it's easy, like the, the flakes, they aren't too big or chunky, so they disperse on the nail really beautifully. So I'm going to go ahead and here. Glimpse of light. Set in stone. Shining star. Alrighty, so this is what the collection is looking like swatched out. It is absolutely beautiful. So on the far end here, this is New Quest, which I said is this really kind of pastel mint green. Next we have Aurora, which is actually, it looks like it's that same base that New Quest is, but it has those white and black specks with those gold foil flakes. Next we have a Glimpse of Light, and this one has like that milky white background. Um, then we have um, Set in Stone, which I thought at first was a light olive, but it really looks like a kind of off-white base. And then the last but not least is Shining Star, which is a really beautiful kind of a deeper green. And I did go ahead and do matte top coat on all of them on the inside of the nails and OMG. I am so excited to do some nail art with these, okay? So yeah, these are all the colors. I'm going to actually show you guys a couple of different methods of how to actually marble nails. I just want to show you all a couple of different techniques to achieve the perfect marble look using these gorgeous colors. So I do have two coats of each of the each of the speckled pop polishes from Madame Glam. And I'm going to show you guys on each individual nail like a different method of how to marble. So um, with this first one here, I actually want to show you guys how to marble using an acrylic paint pen. Um, this is actually my first time trying this, but I have it in black. Um, I did actually haul this from Timu. 
So if you all are interested in getting your hands on it, you can. I'll leave a link down below. But so when you want to marble with acrylic paint pans, what you want to do is just kind of draw where you want the marble to be and kind of create like the little veins for your marble design. So I'm going to do something like this. And maybe I'll do something like that down there, right? You'll take a little bit of acetone in a dappin dish. And then I'm going to use this brush here. This brush um, was actually messed up when I got it. Um, the bristles are kind of flared, but I thought this would be perfect for trying to do this marble design. And so what you want to do is take just a little bit of acetone on that brush and just kind of blur those lines a little bit. So like this. And you just want to blur it. Okay, maybe this isn't the best brush to do this with. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think this is the best brush to do that with, so I'm going to switch out to a different brush. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to use this brush instead and see how that works. Because you need a little bit more product on it in order for it to smudge out right. Okay, this one's a little bit better. I think I'm taking too much of the product off. So you want to leave the brush a little saturated. Yeah, I don't know that it's working so well with this. I feel like it's just rubbing the product right off the brush, right off the. Okay, that did not work, y'all. So let's try to. <laughs> let's. We gonna try that again, okay? That did not work at all. We gonna try that one more time. Maybe I'll do alcohol instead of acetone. Let me let me try it with alcohol and see if that makes a difference. Okay, so I'm going to try that again. I'm just going to draw some random lines on the nail. But this time I'm going to take alcohol and see if I can dilute it. Okay, yeah, the alcohol worked a lot better. Alright, <laughs> so don't use acetone, use alcohol. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yep, and you'll want to just... Um, if it starts to look a little bit muddy, all you need to do is take a paper towel and kind of wipe up what you don't want, like so. Okay. Take a little bit more alcohol here and just kind of blur the line a little bit. Just you really just the goal is to kind of smoke that line out. And then again, the spaces where it's too much, you'll just go in with the paper towel and wipe it away. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting the look I want here, but it's something. Okay, y'all marbling a little harder than the thought, okay? I wonder if it's because I did it on a shiny top coat. This looks okay, but not exactly what I wanted though, you know what I mean? I think this one's getting closer to what I want. So I'm going to go in with another line on the pen and see if I can get that smoked out look a little bit better. Because I think, I, I think I'm kind of getting it here. Yeah, okay, so you just tap right on top of the line. Kind of get it to smoke out a little bit. Okay, happy people. So I realized that as I was doing this marble design, um, bear with me, I'm actually new to doing marble, is I made a few mistakes. Um, the first mistake I made was not using matte top coat when I was going in with the when I was going in with the marble design trying to smoke out those lines. Um, the second mistake I made was using acetone to try to smoke out the lines instead of alcohol. You definitely want to use alcohol uh, because it's not going to take away the image. But those were the two things that I realized when I was trying to use the acrylic paint pan when marbling. Okay, yeah, I think I did it. So that's the first nail here. And then you just let it dry, okay? And then let me move on to the next nail. I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, 
what do y'all think? I think so. Okay, cool. So that's the first nail here. Okay. And I'm going to do matte top coat on all of these too so we can get a better look at everything. So on this one here, I actually want to try um, it with a permanent marker. Okay. So I want to see if using a permanent marker is any easier than using this acrylic paint pen. So I don't have a Sharpie, but I do have this permanent marker here. And so I'm going to do the same thing. Draw the line all over the nail where I want it to be. Okay, like so. And I think for this one I need to use acetone. Maybe I got confused. Let's see. Nope, acetone is still too strong. So I'm gonna just go back in with my alcohol here. And again, just tap on top of the line and that kind of just smokes it out. Oh yeah, that's pretty easy to do. Ooh, super easy to do actually. Okay. All right. I think I'm liking how it looks with the permanent marker more. Yeah, that's really nice. That made life easy. And then if there's any spots where you kind of want to see more of the marble, you'll just add it in with the permanent marker. So I like that. Yeah, I think the, the permanent marker with the, with, the, with the ink is really good. So let's see. Again, you just tap right on top of it and it gives you that smoky effect, you know? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it looks really nice. And I think if you want to add the veins in, and maybe for me with this one, if I want to add the veins in, maybe I can go with this acrylic marker and just kind of you know, add the lines where I see fit. Oh, I think I might have messed it up. No. Yeah, I liked it how it looked without it. that up okay I'm gonna do that again I actually just messed that up so I'm gonna go back in with my permanent marker and smoke it out I like how it looks with the permanent marker so again just top on top of the permanent marker to smoke out the, the line Alrighty, so this is what the second marble design is looking like. Okay, so that's number two. So this is the acrylic paint pen. This is the uh, permanent marker. Now I'm going to go ahead and try it with a stamping plate. Okay, so I do have this stamping plate here and it has marble designs on it. Okay, and so I think the marble design that I want to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off the plastic here. Alrighty, so with this, I'm going to go in with my favorite stamping polish, which is the one from Born Pretty. And I'm just going to go ahead and saturate the plate here with the polish. Okay. Next thing you'll need is a scraper. You'll take your scraper and do one quick swipe down, like so. And then you'll take your jelly stamper here and you'll roll to pick up the image. Perfect pickup. And so then to add that, that marble effect on here, you'll wanna just line it up where you want it to be on the nail and then press down. Ooh, this one's nice. I like how that turned out. That's really nice. So this is marbling with a stamping plate. So the last way to marble is gonna be using gel polish. And I'm gonna do just a kind of a different technique. I know most people use the marble mixing plates and put the gel down and then use a brush, but I think I wanna do it a different way with my dotting tool. So I have the Madame Glam Perfect Black and Perfect White, and I'm just gonna go and make like little dots with each color all over the nail. So I'm gonna take the white here, just put a couple dots on the nail. Oops, just too much polish. Like so, so put a dot here, something here, 
here and here. Then I'm gonna take the black and do the same thing. Now this black is, is really black, so a little goes a long way. I'm just gonna put it pretty close to that white. I'm gonna put these dots all over the nail as well, like so. And then I'm gonna take my dotting tool here and just kind of just mix the colors around to kind of create a little bit of a marble effect on the nail. Alright, like so. And where I can, I'll try to connect the connect the little, you know, the pieces that I drew on the nail, you know. So, and then in the middle here, I'm kind of wanting it to connect a little bit better. So I'm gonna just put one dot of black here in the middle, like so. And then just kind of sparse it out a little bit, you know? And then mix it in with these other ones that I just created. Yeah, and so that's this marble design here. So yeah y'all, this is, this is all the different techniques for marbling. I am going to go ahead and do a matte top coat on all the nails and we'll get into the finished look, okay? Oh, I forgot to mention too, on this nail where you use the gel polish, make sure you cure it underneath the lamp for 60 seconds and I've done that off camera. So now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite matte top coats and that's from Beatles. I'm hoping that I can get the Madame Glam matte top coat at some point too because I heard that it's really good. I think it's called the Velvet, the Velvet Matte Top. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply top coat to all the nails and then we'll get into the finished look. Alrighty, so I didn't know. So I didn't know this was a thing, but it's looking like these two nails here, as I'm applying my matte top coat, y'all, <laughs> the design is coming off. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it's like smearing. Do you guys see this? Is this normal? Is this supposed to do that? Huh. All right, well, let me just cure these two on the end, and I'll try to figure out what I'm going to do about these here. yeah okay so I'm really shocked that this smeared the way that it did um yeah let me go ahead and wipe this off yeah I can't believe I just did that okay so I have to try this design again so this one was the one that I used with the stamping plate so that was really strange here so I guess I'll try that again So I was running low on that Beatles matte top coat. I'm gonna try a different matte top coat that and see if that helps. Okay, I think that was what it was. I think because my, my, my old top coat was running low, I was kind of dragging it a little bit and maybe that's what caused it to come off. But I think this is gonna be the look here. So this one right here, it did do the same thing. And I, again, I think it's cause my matte top coat was running low. So I'm gonna try to see if I can fix this. This is the nail I did with the permanent marker. So again, I'm gonna just uh, draw a quick little line here, see if I can salvage this design. I don't even know if this is gonna work on a matte background, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out today. So you'll take that. Um, and you'll kind of blur it out. Okay, that might actually work a little bit better. <laughs> okay, happy people. I do feel like by the time I got to this nail, I was kind of over trying to do these marble designs. So I just kind of ended up leaving it as it was. So it doesn't look the best, but you all kind of get the idea of how to achieve the look. Yeah, I can't say that this turned out any better than the last look, but I'm going to go ahead and cure that, and I'll, let's get into the finished look. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute, though? 
so yes this is how all of my marble nails turned out I will say that out of all of them which I thought was going to be my least favorite one is the marble that I did with the acrylic pen um, it turned out really good just make sure you use alcohol instead of acetone and yeah that's probably my favorite one the one I used with the permanent marker I do think when I put on my matte top coat like I said I was running low on it it did smudge some of the design off I tried to go back in and fix it didn't do that great of a job at it but it's a really smoked out marble design and this one here is the marble design with the stamping plate this is definitely one that's very like um, opaque this is one that's very like like hard lines and so I don't know if maybe if I had a chose to use like a design like this or a design like this where it's like a little bit more sparse if um, you know it would have looked a little bit more um, more marbly I guess um, and this one is the one that I did with the gel polish I actually really liked how this one turned out um, I think I just have to play around with how like where I placed the dot set and how I swirl it into a marble but like if you take a look at the bottom part of this now that marble turned out really really beautiful so um, yeah this is how you marble I guess four different ways let me know how you all do your marble designs is there an easier way um, to do it but yeah I had a lot of fun working with this new collection from Adam Glam. This is the House of Nourish collection. Absolutely loved these colors. I mean, you all see this. This is like perfect if you want that granite look. If you want to do like a really nice marble design with a cool background, these are the colors to do it with. And so, yeah, y'all. Um, I do have a discount code with Madam Glam. Um, I'm going to leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below in case you guys want to check them out. And yeah, a special thanks to Madam Glam for sending these over for review. I absolutely love them. So I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!